the importance of renourishing the beaches on an emergency basis is twofold. Number one, what we're doing right now is to encourage tourism and revitalize, help to revitalize the island tourism base. The other aspect of the nourishment project we're doing right now is to also protect the underside of the seawall itself because the older section of the seawall in Galveston was actually built on piled uh, timber piles. We'll actually be restoring a probably two-thirds of the beach area in front of the seawall from 61st Street back toward 10th Street. It's approximately 400,000 cubic yards of beach quality sand and the sand is coming from the east end of the island where the beach is normally a creek and we also are dredging some of the sand out of a borrow site just east of the ship channel dred uh, d jetties and that sand is then being trucked to the area in front of the seawall between 61st and 10th streets. In a recent economic impact study on tourism that the park board did uh, we have approximately five million visitors to Galveston Island on an annual basis. Uh, the beaches are still the number one reason that people come to Galveston for tourism purposes. Uh, there are many other attractions on the, on the island as well, but the beaches are still number one. It's determined that the amount of money spent on beach renourishment will come back to the city four times. In other words, for every one dollar spent, on beach renourishment, $4 comes back to the city in tourism. So it's very important for this project to be successful to help get our tourism industry back up on the island.